Of course, every day we like to see what's popular online. Today, a lot of talk about Ryan Seacrest and the Today Show this morning. I know. Nikki Vesey has more on what he's doing with the NBC show. Just for the record, when I saw him on this morning, I turned it up because if he was going to take over the Today Show, I thought I was going to call John and tease him. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I think he's fantastic at what he does. I just don't see that mix. I know you don't. You know, and, and that's just me, personally. <laughs> and millions of others might like it. It may take me a while to get used to it. I know. Right. Well, well, there we'll are see. lots of lots of rumors about Seacrest yeah. taking over for Matt sure. Lawyer. Yeah. The two even talked about it, and Lauer actually poked fun at the idea during their interview today. Seacrest said that he hoped Lauer would stay in the position for a while, so Idol and E News fans don't have to worry. Seacrest is still going to work with those shows as well, mm -hmm. but he will be joining the NBC family. He says he's going to assist with the Olympics coverage. I think yeah, that's he, perfect for him. Yeah, a good role Meredith for him. Meredith Vieira, that'd mm -hmm. be a good way to get him. A good him. team. Yeah, I think uh, that'd be a way to, you know, it'll do a couple of things. It'll it'll bring a new generation, his fans, mm -hmm. to the Olympics, mm -hmm. which they really don't watch a lot. Yeah. That's and true. it'll introduce him to a lot of the NBC family as well, since he's mm -hmm. on Fox and some of the other cable channels. You know, when I watch the Today Show, I can't tell if I'm watching E! or, you know, Bravo, because yeah. of Comcast, you know, mm -hmm. it's such a big, sure. big group now. Yeah. Right, it's interesting. Well, The Fray is getting mixed reviews for its rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. Well, the group didn't flub any of the lyrics when performing the song at the NCAA championship game between Kansas and Kentucky, but that doesn't seem to matter to some fans who hated the acoustic version. Actor uh, pa Patton Oswalt tweeted, Al-Qaeda just claimed responsibility for the phrase performance of the national anthem. Oh, man, yeah, cool. harsh. <laughs> the band cool. says you can't win them all. Yeah, that's yeah, true, yeah. you can't win them all. Uh, somebody's not going to be happy with you when you're uh, trying the to The national entertain. anthem. Right. Yeah. It's an interesting version One of though. the toughest songs yeah. to sing. You are. Sure. People always yeah. just get, yep. you know. And everybody has their own brutal. take on it. Right. <laughs> And today, people are still talking about yesterday's tornadoes in Texas. Meteorologists say 13 possible tornadoes actually touched mm. down. But here's the real miracle, I think. Despite all that damage, no one actually died. Yeah. And of the more than 20 people injured by the twisters, only a few seriously hurt. Thousands of travelers are still facing some delays and cancellations at Dallas Fort International, Fort Worth International Airport, but still, mm. lots to be thankful for there. Oh, yeah, sure. when you look at the devastation and you see yeah. the, the trucks tossed around and Gosh, it's like, yeah. just amazing. No one lost their life, and that's mm -hmm. just a, a blessing that everybody you yeah. know, is mm -hmm. still safe. On a side note, you know, I think I, I read somewhere that 400 flights were canceled. Yeah. yeah. Gosh, you know, yeah. can you imagine? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, listen to this. Lots of talk about this. Women in the UK are going to be given an anti-diabetes drug during their pregnancy in a study. One that they already take that's safe, and they've proven that it's safe, but it's not for diabetes. Doctors are hoping the drug can help prevent babies from being born overweight, like the really big babies, the 10 pound, 11 pound. Oh, mm -hmm. And it's a new trial hoping to bring that number down in cases in nine hospitals around the United, the United Kingdom are going to take part in the trial. Results are not expected for two years, though. Interesting to see the reaction to this trial today on Twitter and Facebook and stuff. I don't really uh, understand yeah, why the... That would take some explaining to me. It's going to, like, it somehow hinders the way the, the, ba the developing baby gets things from the mother. Okay. Some, okay. I, there's a lot of, like, a medical science, terminology yeah, sure. that I did not understand, <laughs> yeah. but that somehow that happens and it's supposed to help the baby not get so large. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it could it could hurt some, I would think. Yeah, I was going to say when you're when you're kind of messing with the natural, mm -hmm. you know, uh, mm -hmm. the natural process. Mm -hmm. Seems yeah. odd because you can't even take like cold medicine. You right. Know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. give him a, a, a diabetes drug. Yeah, All right. Who knows? All right. Thanks, thanks Nikki. Nick. Well, meteorologist Rob Ellis has his eyes on the radar that's uh, pretty busy at this hour. Yeah, he says there's a good chance we could see some rain later tonight as well. He'll be back with his forecast. Stay with us.